Look at me! One evening, when I was in my year of high school, my mum and dad went out, leaving me home alone. I was a lot of homework to do, so I spent the whole evening sitting in the desk in my bedroom. My parents left the house around 6 p.m. While I was doing my homework, I put on my headphones, listened to loud music. There was a big storm that night, and my desk was facing the window so I could see the rain and life lighting outside. My parents got back around 11 p.m. When I saw their car drive up, I took off the headphone, headphones. As soon as my mum opened the front door, I came inside, heard her shout my name. What on earth happened in here? She demanded in an angry voice. Confused, I ran downstairs. My mum was standing in the hallway, refused to look on her face. She pointed at the floor and yelled, Was this you? I looked down and saw the carpet was covered in muddy footprints. I have no idea how they got there, I said. I spent the whole night at my desk doing my homework. I watched the look on her face change from anger to confusion and to fear. We both realised at the same time someone else must have been in the house. We followed a trail of footprints, trying to make sense of the whole situation. We started to spat at the back door, which usually left unlocked. We noticed something else. The footprints started at the back door, with no trail footprints leaving the back door. All of a sudden, we heard something loud, pounding noise that echoed throughout the house. The sound of the front door being wrenched open and slammed shut again. Wham! We all ran into the carriage and locked the door behind us. My mum took her cell phone out of her cell phone and called the police. Please come quickly, she shouted. Someone's in our house. After seeing what seemed like hours, a patrol car arrived with two police officers, a male and female. One officer stayed with us in the garage while his partner went through the house, searching it by room by room. When she came back, the officer, the female officer, told us no one in the house, and they were safe to go back in. You see, we were all breathing a sigh of relief, she asked. Whose bedroom is upstairs on the left? My parents looked at me. It's mine, I told the officer. She looked, took us just to follow her. As we walked through the house, we could see the trail of thirty footprints leading from the back door through the living door room, through the hallway, up the stairs into my parents' bedroom, and then towards my room, they stopped at my doorway. The female officer pointed at the door, which has been opened the whole night, scrawled on it. A black marker was the following. 8.47, I see you. 8.53, you forgot to lock the back door. 8.49, you seem confocused. Eight nine forty seven. Turn around. Nine forty seven. Look at me. Ten fifteen. Look at me. Ten thirty seven. Look at me. Ten forty nine. Look at me. For more than two hours, someone had been standing at my doorway, watching me. To this day, I still shudder to think what would have happened if they had turned around. If I turned around.